what I have noticed between a Christian and someone who goes to wish daughter, the difference between a Christian and the person who goes to a wish daughter is their attitude towards the source of their power. Those who goes to wish daughter, they so much believe in the source of their power that when they go to wish daughter and the wish daughter guarantee them that they are not powerful, nothing can harm them, nothing can bring them down. They go about with that confidence, looking for trouble, stepping on any toes. You cross their path, they crush you because they believe that nobody can bring them down. In family, they create problems because they believe nobody can bring them down. But you will see a Christian whose victory is guaranteed, whom God has already promised that you will tread upon serpent and scorpion, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. God promised you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises up against you in judgment you will condemn. God promised you that having these principalities and power, He made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them on the cross of Calvary. God promised you that whatsoever that is born of God overcoming the world, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Yet, you see a lot of Christians with all these instruments prepare for them to prevail over the trials of life. They still live in fear. But when you look at someone who goes to witch daughter, just one experiment from the witch daughter pouring the blood on the floor and guarantee them that by this blood on the floor, you are powerful. And they walk with that mindset of victory. And they go about creating chaos everywhere. But Christian, with the victory you have, you still live in fear. Yet God said, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sad mind. Please, if you are a Christian and you are afraid, go and embrace the word of God. Change your mindset because your victory lies in your mindset. You don't have the spirit of fear. You have the spirit of love, of power, and of a sad mind. God bless you.